am here, I was here. So, good morning everybody. I'm Libby from LibbyStamps.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm so glad you're able to join me today. Sorry I was a bit late. The uh, coffee machine doesn't seem to want to work when you want it to work. Anyway, <laughs> it says fill tank, you know, when you've got to run around and fill the water up. Anyway, um, so what I'm here today to talk to you about is just to remind you about Stampin' Blends. Now I've done, I know that's backwards, I've done a few videos demonstrating these and they're just wonderful. You can use them for so many things. Colour your rhinestones, your pearls, your ribbon, you can make ombre ribbon. That's really lovely. Um, by just doing dark on top, light on the bottom and then blending the two in the middle. Um, you can use white, any of our white ribbons to do that. And we're getting a beautiful new organza ribbon in the Occasions catalogue. It's about 387 inch wide, I think. Anyway, that's lovely. That's coming on the 3rd of January. So if you haven't got your Stampin' Blends yet or you're not sure what they're all about, drop me a line message me and I'm happy to chat to you about them or go to my website libbystamps.com and um, have a look just put in the search button stamp and blends and you'll find some information there for you all right today's giveaway is I have a Mary Patton's uh, stamp set it's a photopolymer stamp set Oh, that wasn't good, was it? There you are. Photopolymer stamp set. And um, it's a lovely set. It was only available to hostesses who held parties of $450 or more. So I've got one today. You can't get them anymore. It was only available for a month, I think. So I've got one of those today. If you leave me a comment and you're not a demonstrator. Okay, so there's that. What else? Oh, I've got new recruit brochures. You know, if what I do looks like it's something that you would enjoy doing, you don't have to go out and do parties and workshops and all that sort of thing, unless, of course, you want to. I'm lucky enough to have space here in my home where I can invite people to come in and craft with me rather than dragging all my stuff out. I'm getting a bit long in the tooth to be doing that now. I find getting getting it all packed and in and out of the car is a bit of a struggle. Anyway, or if you want to just fund your paper crafting habit or you want to make a little bit of extra money for one reason or another, you earn 20% on every purchase. So that's like money for jam, you know. And coming up after Christmas, January 3rd, there's heaps and heaps of reasons why you'd want to join. Apart from the discount and the free shipping on your kit, it's only $169. There's no obligation get to keep the kit if you decide to drop. You've got six months to uh, make your first quarterly minimums which are about $465 and you don't have to do that all in one go. You can get friends to buy stuff, you can get family, colleagues, people at playgroup, preschool, any of those sorts of places to help make up that amount. Um, I can talk you through how to just shop a little bit at a time um, so that by the time your, your quarter's finished, you've got your quarterly minimums. Anyway, it's something for you to think about and I'd be really happy to talk to you about it further if that's something you would decide to do. I just love it. I love the products. All the products coordinate. You know, when I first joined Stampin' Up, I had a friend, my friend Leone, who tried to get me to join for three years. 
And I said, no, 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 I'll never make my first quarterly minimum. Well, the first workshop I had and the only came along, I made my first quarterly minimum in that workshop. Plus, I got 20% income from that workshop. And it was fun. You know, it's fun to sit around and chat with friends and have coffee, which I'm just going to have a sip of, and make things. So, oh, that's nice and hot. You know, give it, give it some thought. Celebrations coming up. Now, I've sent out occasions catalogue coming up. I've sent out all the occasions catalogues and celebration catalogues I had that I ordered and I've just ordered some more. So if you haven't got yours yet, I've got more coming in tomorrow, I think. So message me on Facebook and I'll get back to you straight away and I'll get your address and details and I'm happy to send you out a catalogue and a celebration brochure. Now the celebration brochures, you get one product free for every $90 you spend out of either the occasions catalogue or the annual catalogue. So that's, that's fantastic. So try and spend in lots of $90 and that'll help you get free product. It's also, celebrations also, as I said before, a great time to join. You get your kit for $169 and normally you get $235 worth of product. But during celebration, you get to choose two free stamp sets of a value up to $174. So that's over $400 worth of product in your kit. And you get to keep it whether you decide to stay on, which I'd love you to do, or not. I'm not going to hassle you about staying on. Um, that's a decision you make. I will email you and I'll keep you on my mailing list. And if you decide to stay on, great. You can join my Crafty Hours team. And uh, we have daily engagements on our Facebook business page, our Facebook group page, um, challenges, all sorts of things. I'm happy to do one-on-one -on -one phone calls with you uh, for training. Um, I do videos all that sort of stuff. So make sure you give it some real thought. And celebration's a great time to get free product. And yeah, okay. Now, I forgot to get, oh no, I did. I showed you the Merry Patterns. That's today's freebie. All right, so I'm going to flip the camera and we'll get started making our money wallet which is great to put cash in for Christmas. All right, won't be a sec. Did you catch my Occasions catalogue unboxing? I got my pre-order in the other day and I did an unboxing. Okay, that seems to be all right, doesn't it? Okay, now, so this is our money wallet today and I'm just going to refresh my screen and see who's here so it's I've just cut soldier out of the paper and and stuck it on the um, circle and that's our closure it's got a little stamp and dimensional underneath there to make the closure and there's our wallet all right so you've got designer series paper front and back and we've got whisper white on the back so you can write your message and what have you pop your cash inside close it up and it's ready to go all right so we'll get started on what we're doing today i've got i'm using that was um this one is out of christmas around the world designer series paper and i'm currently using up most of my Christmas papers, I've got hardly any left. And the one we're making today is out of Be Merry Designer Series paper. So I made all these Christmas cards, wrote on them, and then ran out of cards. So I've been busy making more cards this week 
just so I've got enough to send out. If you um, ask me for an occasions catalogue or a celebration brochure, I will send you a Christmas card and a small thank you gift as well. So just keep that in mind and make sure you request one soon because January 3rd will be here before you know it. Okay, so today we're using Cherry Cobbler, Whisper White, Be Merry, Designer Series Paper, and I've already punched out, we're getting in the new catalogue, we're getting these scallop circle punches. There's one in one and three eighth. One and one, sorry, this one's in one and one eighth. And the other size is one and three eighths. And they go with one of the stamp sets in the uh, occasions catalogue. But they come, I love scallop punches. Anybody who knows me will know I love punches. Whenever Stampin' Up! bring out a new punch, I've got to have it. So this actually goes with a stamp set called A Good Day, which I can't show you, I don't think. No, I can't show you that today, maybe next week. And yes, so there's another one as well. So I've punched one out in Cherry Cobbler and then I've punched a white one out in the one inch circle punch. And then I used the three quarter inch circle punch. So that one to punch a circle out of this, this image here on the designer series paper. And this is, looks like it was going to be a box at one stage, but it's gone wrong. So now I use up the paper for other things. All right, so that's what I've done there. So we'll just go ahead and put them together. And I've been through so much glue the last few days. Um, I had to open a new one last night, getting ready for today. So that's all the adhering we need to do on this. I'm just picking it up with my paper piercer because otherwise I end up with glue all over my hands and um, I stick to my project. So never a good look. All right, so put that together like that it looks rather nice doesn't it all right and I need a stamp and dimensional for the back of that now when you put your stamp and dimensional on you want it either up the top or well you want it up one end all right so you're going to just put it on like that and I'll explain why when we get to that part so that's our little closure done all right and then we're going to I'm going to bring in my trimmer and you're going to cut a piece of card which is seven and three quarters or uh, 19.7 centimeters by seven and a quarter or 18 and a half centimetres. Whoops, that's the wrong way around. So seven and three quarters by seven and a quarter, or 19.7 by 18.5 centimetres. And have the seven and three quarter end up the top of your scoring tool. So I'm just using my trimmer today, and I'm hoping you can see that. And you're going to score at two inches and five and a half inches or five centimetres and 14 centimetres. So we're going to score down at five centimetres or two inches and five and a half or 14. All right, that's all we need the trimmer for. Quick and easy. 
Now, you will need a bone folder. My poor old bone folder is looking very daggy at the moment because you really need to come in and burnish these lines. These score lines, you need burnish just means make them firm and sharp. So I do both sides. And while I've got it over this side, I'm going to bring in a piece of white card that I already have cut. And it is 7 inches by 3 and 1 8 or 17.8 by eight centimeters and then I'm just going to adhere that to the back and that gives you if you want to you can stamp on it uh, it's not my intention to do any stamping today um, because I wanted this to be quick I'm aware that everyone's got lots of things going on and you're all busy all right so see that's why I like liquid adhesive that gives you wiggle room to get it straight so that's the back tongue now on this one I'm just going to do something a little bit different I'm going to bring in my envelope punch board let's see and I'm just going to round the corners on this one that was easy wasn't it all right now a bit of tear and tape on the bottom Oh, that'll be right. I've rounded the wrong ones. Never mind. They can all be round. I think more coffee is needed. So the narrower part that you turned over, this part here, that's the top. And the wider flat is the bottom. And you're just going to put a little bit of tear and tack right up against the edge. So, right up as far as you can go. Oh, that's not very close, is it? Never mind. All right, so that's our tear and tape done. And then you're just going to take the backing off that. I just thought you could put a rhinestone in the middle of that um, closure that we made earlier. Or a pearl. All right, close that over. I'm just going to bring my bone folder in again and make sure that's nicely closed. All right, now your DSP. So you've got two bits. Now this one is 7 inches by 2 inches or 17.8 by 5 centimetres. And the one for the top is... Um, seven inches by one and three quarter inches or 17.8 by four and a half centimeters so we'll just go ahead and adhere those now don't forget you can shop for all the supplies that I'm using today I've now got a shop now button up the top and I've got um, special rewards for shoppers who shop with me each month if you use the hostess code which you will find on my blog at libbystamps.com and the hostess code is always up in the top right hand sidebar so Make sure you use the hostess code in order to get extra rewards from me. If you haven't signed up for my newsletter yet, you get specials and free tutorials when you sign up for my newsletter. Every newsletter's got a free tutorial in it. Whoops. Not doing very well today. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, so that's our money wallet fairly well done. I'll just quickly talk to you about this one. This has got directional um, paper on it. 
So what I did was I cut the length to 7 inches and I made sure, or 7 inches is what? 17.8 centimetres and I made sure when I cut the two pieces that they matched so that it looks like when you close it uh, the heads are matching bodies and things like that so just be aware of when you have directional paper that's what you need to do all right now I said before with your dimensional you're going to need that on the bottom here because we need the top open so I'm hoping you can see that so that's on the bottom and I'm just going to pop it in the middle about there might bring it down a little bit and put it there. All right. So there's our money wallet. And if I had rhinestones out, we could have put a rhinestone in the middle of that. So I'll probably do that a bit later. So there are our two money wallets today already. For you to pop some cash in there for Christmas and you don't need a card because you can write on the back so the money wallet is the card so this paper designer series paper is from Christmas around the world this one was be merry was it I think yeah be merry designer series paper now, don't forget there's the year-end sales going on at the moment and I hope you didn't miss free, free shipping yesterday. Um, yeah, so that's it from me today. So thanks for stopping by and I'm glad you could be with me and I'll see you again next week at 10. Hey, All right, bye for now. Play, get about a place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the line. Let us see inside your mind, you'll find